Option number two, the fillable forms. Now, the reason I have like the EU yuck picture here is because I don't normally recommend using the fillable forms. You can look up the forms on the IRS website. That I highly recommend. So if you don't have access to software and you're following along with our course, for example, then you could just look up like the form 1040, the related schedules, all the schedules, all the instructions on IRS website, irs.gov, irs.gov. And you'll, you can kind of follow along where the data input is happening on those forms and get more of a holistic view of the form and the instructions. You just can't jump back and forth between the data input that will then populate the form as easily and quickly as if you used software. Now, the thing with the fillable forms is usually if you are going to do your own taxes, if your income is below 79000 then you might have a more easier tax return, although that's still getting up there. More higher income tax returns typically are more complex uh, tax returns because you might have multiple uh, income sources, multiple family member members and dependents and so on uh, and so forth. Although low income tax returns can be complicated as well because of all the uh, credits as we'll jump into uh, later. So, but if your income is above that threshold, then you pr then you could jump over to the fillable forms. And I think the IRS is saying, we're gonna allow you to do a free option. Look, everyone can do a free option. That's what the IRS would like to claim. And they can claim that basically, but I don't think you would really want to use the fillable forms if your income was above 79,000 because the income level is an indication that you have a more complex return. So if your income's below 79,000, you wanna use some type of software for sure and possibly still go talk to a tax preparer so that you can give some, some actual advice uh, about the tax preparation in terms of planning and not just preparation. If your income's over 79,000, then you're probably at a level of complexity where you want more than just the tax preparation. You probably want some kind of tax planning uh, and that kind of thing. And therefore, I would think it would be useful at that point, at least to purchase the software to make sure that you have the double check, the internal control of the software to help you with the diagnostics to lessen the chance of making errors. And possibly at that point, actually go to a CPA firm or a tax preparer with the idea that you're going to try to settle, set up a long term relationship with someone because the tax preparer then can then help you out with the current tax return but can also help you out basically going forward in the future, possibly doing tax planning, uh, which could be a, a, a major resource, especially for higher income individuals. And you might be more likely to get an audit or something like that if you have higher income situations because your tax code is more complex. And it would be nice if you had a tax preparer that could help you out in those situations as well. So that's why I don't really like, I don't really think the fillable forms has a, much of a role because if you're under 79,000, you're going to use the software, free software, or get a tax preparer. If you're over 79,000, then I would think that you'd still want to pay for the software at the least or possibly go to a CPA firm at that point due to the fact that your tax preparation and planning is complex to the point where you would need to. The fillable forms is kind of like doing the taxes by hand, which because of the complexity in the tax code, because the tax code has become more complex over the years as all these resources have allowed it to be, like software, you, you don't typically want to do it. It's kind of like payroll. You know, you almost have to have some other system that's kind of helping you with the data input or else, you know, you're, you're way more likely to make errors or miss certain opportunities that you would be picking up uh, with the tax software. Okay. So you do all the work using your instructions available for any income level, no guidance and limited calculations provided, no state tax preparation and filing. That's another issue with this one. The state tax preparation uh, is gonna be important. If you're in a state that has income tax, that'll depend on the state that you are in.